Joining me on the show from our Abuja studio is spokesperson to the Edo State Governor-elect Paul Owombamo. Mr. Owombamo, thank you for joining us on the program. You know, they say that members of your party haven't taken President Tinobu's advice of not gloating over victory in Edo State. Is the APC concerned about the division this election have caused among the people and also the challenge that it poses for the incoming administration. Thank you very much. The election has been heard and uh, the so-called division, you should expect what followed. This cacophony of voices, those who lost must complain, and uh, those who won the election will rejoice uh, over the victory. But I can tell you that uh, uh, there is no serious division there because what happened was, has been there in fees deposit. It was what was expected to happen. There is no way Aswe Udalo could have won that election because of the activities of the governor of the state who had, who, who, who had destroyed everything there is that can augur well for any candidate. He brought out Aswe Udalo as being his chairman, Alago Daro, they have been together eight years in governance, and it has been social dislocation, institutional collapse. There's nothing. The ties of friendship destroyed, cause of relationship not honored. The, the governor betrayed the state, betrayed the kingdom, betrayed the nation. There is nothing left, and there is no way. You cannot travel the devil's express way and expect to arrive at God's destination. So that result, what happened that day was a physical manifestation of a spiritual conclusion. There is no way. The governor knew that he was, the route he was taking was dangerous. I don't know what inspired him. You destroy people's properties. You have created, you, you for no apparent reason, a one political rancor, a governor who turned himself into an entrepreneur of violence. All of a sudden, you... He even said it will be do or die, he threatened everyone, and that the, the state will burn, Nigeria will burn. Uh, of course, we knew when he said it that it was just uh, important grandstanding. Yes, not All right. And the show Mr. Ohobamo, I hear you clearly. My yes. concern, however, is that it is still the same narrative we are hearing after the election because 247,000 plus people actually voted for the PDP in this election. Uh, traditionally, winners would extend an olive branch to the other parties. Are we expecting to hear that? Are you concerned about the other residents in Edo who completely disagree with your political school of thought and who are also part of the Edo people that the new governor, the, the new governor will have to... You know, Thank you very offer. much. As for, the, as for the olive branch, in today's... Uh, uh, you know, a certain speech. The governor has done that, has called upon the Labour Party ca uh, candidate, uh, Olu Akbata, uh, to come on board so that they can build their door together. And he also called upon uh, Aswe Godalu. As for people, the other people, you don't expect everyone to be happy over your victory. Just as uh, Harold Lasky said, the author of the grammar of politics, they think differently, who live differently. The, what has occurred affected some persons. You know, politics is the game of the thrones. It's a zero-sum pursuit. And it is only the winner you get. Uh, let's, look, uh, let's take analogy of a, game, a sporting game, like Olympics, for example. Turning, of course, finishing second in Olympics gets you silver. But finishing second in politics gets you oblivion. There's nothing at all. It's only the winner that takes it. Once Mr. A gets it, Mr. B, C, all other people is finished for them. Then you realize that both uh, uh, that uh, tragedy and silence have the same exact address. Nothing. So as for complaints here and there, people will normally complain. If uh, Labour had won, PDP, perhaps my party APC would have also complained. No one takes uh, defeats just like that right. and accept it. You must complain. But eventually, everything will have scope. The APC has won this election. However, the question is, will APC be able to handle the party moving forward? This election has brought the unlikely politicians together within your party. We now see Adam Sushomole working with Philip Shaibo and former 
Edo State PDP Chairman Dan Obi, amongst others. You know, there are some who would say it's a matter of time before hostility resumes among these stakeholders. Uh, you think your party can survive this arrangement? Yes, the party can. At least the governor, once he's sworn in, he should know what to do. And uh, when you give every man his due, when I say due now, you know what I mean. Give every man his due. And they, 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 I don't see any problem. They, they are politicians. The only thing that uh, takes that uh, the politician has is the interest. That is the only thing that is alive. All other things are secondary. You, every man's interest, I mean every man's due you give to him, you govern well because that is the heart of the matter. You govern well, meet the hard desire of the people, meet the legitimate expectation of the people of Edo State so that everyone will be happy with you the way they are happy with Adam Soshomole. That's it. The question has always been, um, does it owe any man they are due, apart from the electorate and the good people of a Doe state, who should be its primary responsibility? Because usually that's where the political division, you know, comes in, when there are multiplicity of interests to the point that it begins to affect its primary responsibility as governor. When, when, I, say, when I say every man is due, that every man is part of the people of a Doe state. Everyone, including politicians, those who are there, because one short thing, when you are not arrogant, when you don't abuse, when you don't reduce people to the worst form of human degradation, when you don't treat people as if they are nobodies, they, I, I don't see how they can take offense against you. That's what I really mean. Give them their due respect. Uh, it's not issue of pecuniary gains I'm talking about now. Due respect. Give people their due respect, no matter who you are, whether you are small or big, you should know that this is why I'm happy. The person who won, uh, the senator, knows that everyone possesses the sacredness of his personality. And is the type who believes that the Amajiri is also a child. So he cannot distinguish unnecessarily between the rich, the poor, the high, the low, because it's from the low. So he knows what to do. That's what I mean. Every man Mr. is Mr. Hobamo. That's the first thing. As a yes. politician and as a journalist myself, both of us know that there is more to respect than dues. You know, there are people who have invested in this election who would also want their people in very critical positions. But we'll talk more about that right after this break. Stay with us, everyone. Paul Ohombamo is spokesperson for the Edo State Governor-elect, Senator Monday Okwebolo. Well, I'm Hallelujah. back now. Hopefully you can hear me now, Mr. Ohombamo. Um, yes. Let us talk about um, uh, what we experienced before this election. Your party candidate didn't speak much to the press during election year. Uh, do you think that will change now? Will Monday Okwebolo now speak more to the media? Yes, I, I think it will change now. Uh, why he didn't speak much to the press it was not because he cannot speak or he cannot face the press. That he, uh, the truth of the matter, he was going about meeting the people, the electorates, from war to war, unit to unit, and throughout the entire state. But uh, they made it a, a, a big issue, heavy weather over it, that uh, running away from debate, he cannot face the press. But the, the real thing is this. Even though debate is, has some elements in politics, democracy is not a deba de debating society. It's not, the, the, what is involved in democracy, the underlying thing is the people. This is why they say government of the people, for the people and by the people. It is the people. And it is those people that uh, Okwebolo was meeting, going about meeting them. In politics, you, 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 you lobby these people, you uh, cajole these people, you uh, hostrate for these people. That's what he was doing. And you know that these people, they remain the beautiful dancers of democracy. They are the jury men and women of the ballot. They are the ones who will determine the thing on that day, which they have done now. And they did it perfectly well. Especially the low grade, the ones you call the ordinary people, the little men. Some bourgeois, you know, politicians, those elitist politicians, they abandoned them. But Monde Opelo went to them because he knows the relevance of the little man. The little man on that day will use his vote, as he has done now, to prove the magnitude of his littleness and to show the, 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 the 
importance of the little man to underscore it, the former British Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Churchy, the one who loves and hates democracy, had this to say. He said, at the base, at the bottom of all the tributes paid to democracy is the little man. So, uh, Modi Opeolo went after these little people, artisans, those ones you denigrate, which uh, the elitist class in politics, then he went after all of them. He went for them, was straight for them, and, and now he has got the right. product of his endeavor. Mm. So I remember sending you a message to get an exclusive with him before the election. I, I, I didn't get a reply. If I send that message again now, are you saying that um, you can work out an exclusive with Mr. Governor-elect on this show? Yes, yes, obviously. All right, we're looking forward to it. It will interface, it will interface with you more now. So. Mm. We're counting on that and looking forward to it. Government, they say, is a continuum. Uh, but we've heard the governor-elect say that he's coming to continue what Oshumole did. Or would it be a great disservice to the people of Edo if APC disregards what has been done in the past eight years? No, it did, any good, he has also said it, that any good project that touches and concerns the, the well-being and the, you know, the, the life of the people of Edo, it will continue, whether from uh, Obaseki or not. When he said it will come from Oshomole's story, he actually emphasized the fact that development ended then, after Oshomole left. Because with Oshomole, we knew that govern, government can be for governance and not for looting. So when Oshomole left, you saw social dislocation, institutional collapse, you saw serious economic distortions, you saw social disequilibrium. Now we are, we are trying to recover the, this equilibrium. You saw, uh, you know, unwarranted political rancor. So a governor that will fight everyone and will do many instead of, uh, you know, developing the state, do it is, it went, and destroying people's properties and seizing. Even Niccolo Machiavelli, as deadly as his politics was, he warned that uh, leaders of principalities must ensure they stay away from the wives and properties of people. Because men, you know, sooner forget the death of their fathers than the loss of their patrimony. But this governor, Obaseki, destroyed people's houses. He didn't care. He would seize anything. So there was this coalition of the injured also waiting for him. And they also struck the blow during that last election. So what the right, uh, so Mondo Pueblo Senator is saying, yeah. in essence, is that all good projects that are there, he will complete, continue. Saying Re exclusively, recall, continue from where governor, yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Ohumba, re recall that Governor Obaseki had launched a 30-year master plan uh, for Edo State. Uh, is that something you think he will also carry on and adopt? Well, <laughs> I don't, when you say master plan, all ideas, you know, on, on uh, fulfilled ideas are still bad. Well, you say 30 years. These eight years, what, what is on ground? You know, when he was bringing, uh, as well, I told the two people that he was bringing a new cloth of good governance. And I asked them, told them to ask him the one he wore for eight years. So there must be systematic chronological development in this thing. You say 30 years. Where, where are we starting from? Is it from Mondeo uh, Pueblo's tenure? Because there's nothing on ground that you... You cannot play something or nothing, I expect it to stand. It will collapse. The fallout of not hearing so much from Mr. Governor-elect is concerns about whether or not he would have a mind of his own, free from the influence of godfathers and those who helped him win this election. What are your thoughts in this regard? No, nobody can change. His, he has tenacity of purpose. His strong will, I don't want to say he's a man of steel, because we reserve that one exclusively for the Russian leader, Stanley. He's a strong willed person. Nobody can push him around. And he's not given to equivocation. When he tells you anything, he carries it out. So no one can control him. And it is God that made him uh, the governor, that made him win. Because there were obstacles. Of course, you saw impediments here and there, but uh, because... God wanted it, and the people, uh, you know, allowed 
They voted for him. This is why he's there. One man cannot approximate to be 291 people voted. Cannot so approximate were... to be 291 people I hear voted. you. So that's it. You were, you were very critical yeah. in his campaign organization. Um, what's that one thing yeah. you think he's committed to doing in, a do, in his first year uh, that we can hold him accountable for? Yes, he, on his own, he told uh, electorates during the campaigns. For example, in a go local government, he said within 100 days, some four roads that surround a like a spare pass market, he assured them that within 100 days, he will they will fix the roads, construct the roads. That one you can hold him because it's a direct statement from him. Uwelu's paper is the same. He told them that there are bad roads will be fixed within 100 days. He made so many promises and, of course, located it within 100 days. That is the starting point. You must ensure you achieve those things within 100 days. And we'll remind him, you know, trouble him to do all those things. And he will do because he has, he's giving to service. He has been doing all this for his people in Edo Central. And he will continue. It's, a, it's not one who will learn how to give service, how to construct roads, how to uh, uh, give people power. He has, and he's an ICT guru. So he knows what to do. But as for failing his promises, God forbid, he will not do that. He will meet all in line with legitimate expectation of the people. All right, uh, there's more to talk about. I guess we're going to follow up closely uh, with um, the governor-elect, and um, hopefully you can also help us work out an exclusive with him in the coming days. Paul Ohombamo is spokesperson to Edo State Governor-elect Mondio Pebolo. Thank you so much for talking to us on the program this evening. Thank you. All right, let us get back to our earlier conversation about demolition of some structures um, in Lagos. I'm joined by Chairman of the Council, Abdullah Olowa, uh, on the program this evening. We understand that the demolition began in your local government area. Uh, are there any form of soccer or alternative being provided to those who lost livelihood uh, to the demo demolition exercise earlier today? Mr. Loa, can you hear me? I'm asking if the local council development is providing any form of soccer to those who lost livelihood, their livelihood, to the demolition exercise today. Well, you may have to unmute yourself so we can hear you from here. We'll probably have that conversation subsequently. We're following very closely, especially now that the Lagos State government uh, is saying it will no longer tolerate um, indiscriminate dumping of refuse on the highway. Uh, offenders now risk being sentenced to six months in jail with an option of fine of 50,000 naira. That's our show today, everyone. You can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I am Nifemi. We'll go to it.